Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Today we're back with Super Film Support. Remember, superfilmsupport.com. Ask any film questions, I'll answer you on a video. So today we have a question from Isabella, uh, which is asking me if 4x5 uh, makes sense for movements or medium format cameras that do movements make more sense for the user. She's not giving me a specific use case, so I'm going to go over a few models that are famous for having movements in medium format and why I think they're great for the time they came out in and maybe not so great nowadays. So if you're shooting medium format or large format and you want to do movements, let's say architecture or you want to do product photography and you want to do like tabletop, which actually the movements are really useful for that, or you want to do some sort of like tilt shift effect on certain images that a lot of people have liked, like doing the miniature look from above and so on on cities, that's very normal too. Um, medium format actually is a great compromise because the cameras are usually smaller in size, but then when you include the shifting lenses and the tilting lenses, that's when it gets big. For example, the Mamiya RZ67 that I have here has one shift lens that's the 75 millimeter lens and it's massive. I made videos on it, I'll link a I'll put a video up here and a link below, but it's like the size of the whole camera with the back is the lens and it only does shifting up and down and you basically can move it in 30 degrees depending on you want to shift sideways, upwards and so on. Also Mamiya RZ has the tilt shift adapter that has to work with specific lenses, the what they're called short barrel. So there's a 75 short barrel or SB and if I'm not wrong a 180 SB and those are the lenses you have that you can use with the system without losing infinity focus. You can use other lenses but this would be macro lens because they would be extended the adapter. And this adapter sells for around a thousand euros and then you got to find the lenses which are becoming very rare and so on. Pentax 6x7 has one to 75 uh, shift lens, just the 75, very similar to the 75 for the Mamiya RZ. Also hefty, nobody really buys it anymore. It's rarely seen uh, used in the secondhand market. You see it and they're pretty cheap because nobody really likes them. I have one, I think it's okay. I don't like it for the Pentax. It's kind of not a comfortable camera to use uh, for like shifting. And then you go into some other cameras that are specialized. I have behind the camera the Fuji GX680, which is a monster of a camera, super, super good system. Lenses are super sharp. Uh, it does tilt, shift, rise, fall, all these kinds of things. It shoots six by eight, which is amazing. But the camera weighs like two of the Mamiya RZ67s and is bulky just as much as the Mamiya RZ67 would be with like two of them together. So very, very bulky. It's a sort of cheap camera in general because people know how bulky it is. It's a great studio camera. If you're using a tripod, a studio tripod, that would be great. But if you're gonna be going on the field, then that's not so good. Then you have the two by three cameras or six by nine cameras. There's Linhoff uh, technical cameras. I think that's the M679. And then you have the Arca Swiss also, two by three. Cambo has the Cambo. Uh, two by three, two. Those to me are monorail, medium format cameras that work like a large format camera. So it's like a monorail where you can move both uh, front standard, back standard, change the bellows, change the lenses, all this. That to me is the best compromise if you really want to shoot medium format and movements. You get the best of medium format in terms of like, you know, film economy, uh, roll economy, dust issues, or less dust issues. And somebody asked me the other day about the dust issues. Medium format film is in a roll. So every time you take a shot, supposedly there's no dust in the roll unless Kodak or Foma or Ilford put dust on their film, which is very unlikely. Uh, but when you're shooting large format on sheets, every time you load the sheets, there's potential for dust. That's what ready load was for, but ready load is gone. So like, Medium format is great. So those medium format technical cameras, which is what I call them at least, are the best of both worlds. You have small bodies, small rails. Uh, you can use a ton of lenses, either medium format, large format. Uh, they're pretty sharp and it's pretty much great. I mean, I think it's the best. Large format with medium format backs, which is something I've made a couple of videos on, is great if you want to go large format sometimes. But if you are going to be committed to medium format, shooting 6x7 or 6x9 or 6x6 all the time and you want movements, 
I highly recommend these technical uh, medium format cameras. Like I said, I call them technical because they're basically like a monorail large format camera, but in medium format. Uh, she's asking me in the email, which is here, and I'm not gonna turn so you guys can keep on hearing me, which would be uh, sharper, like the Fuji GX680 lenses or the vintage 4x5 glass. I made a video about that a little bit. Uh, basically, medium format glass is made sharper, or at least it seems to be sharper. It gives like more resolution than the large format because the negatives have to be smaller, and they gotta be enlarged more, and large format has bigger negatives, which are meant to be enlarged less, so resolution per like line is lesser on the large format. Will you notice in normal use? Probably not, unless you push the limits of a very vintage lens compared to a very, very sharp medium format lens and put them one to one. I will probably be doing a test like that soon. I hope to get like some medium format six by seven lens, compare it to like a four by five, a lens shot on 6x7 film and compare sharpness, detail, and so on. But honestly, it really, really depends on what you are going to be shooting. One thing I have to say for people sending requests for super film support is always try to give me a little uh, context of what you need, what are you looking for in terms of what you uh, want out of your camera because it, I could recommend you the Linhoff 6x17 or the uh, Shen Hao 6x17 that has movements and everything, but maybe you wanna shoot product photography and that's kind of overkill for 6x17. You want a 6x7 medium format camera or 4x5. So yeah, that was a uh, super film support. I hope it was somewhat helpful, Isabella. Uh, like I said, if you have any other questions, you can send me an email to the email that you use, super film support, or email through my website and I'll try to help you the best I can. Uh, as always, Super Film Support is basically uh, done thanks to you guys, Patreons and donors or through PayPal. I'll leave the links below if you feel like helping out. Uh, keeps me, you know, figuring out these things and questions uh, on the film world. So yeah, thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.